good news out there for any parents with kids who aren't the biggest fans of having to get a shot. After a two year absence, doctors may start offering the flu mist nasal spray once again next season. So what's caused them to change their mind? Joining me now to provide some insight on all of this, 11 Alive medical correspondent, Dr. Sujatha Reddy. Doctors that stopped offering this because it wasn't maybe as effective? In the past? Correct. And so what happened was the company went back and reformulated the flu mist. And based on that, the advisory committee that's part of the CDC went ahead and gave its approval to have this be available for next season. And I think it's great because I think what we're realizing is, you know, no flu vaccine is going to be perfect, but this one is definitely better than the old flu mist. And why not make it available? And hopefully more people will use it. And when we're talking about the flu vaccine, you know, some people are always nervous about it, but something is better than nothing because sometimes kids may not want to get it if they're afraid of shots and it's you're, a big ordeal. You're exactly right. What was interesting was the flu mist actually worked pretty well against the H3N2, which is what we're seeing most people get sick with this time this season. It didn't work so well against H1N1, but now the company went back, they reformulated, and the data supports that it is more effective against H1N1 and still effective against H3N2. So the idea here, just like you said, is if we have one more option, perhaps we'll convince people to get vaccinated and get their kids vaccinated. So it's just one more choice out there for kids two and older, but not for pregnant women. Is this something you might consider or recommend to your patients too? Yeah, absolutely I would. You know, the question came to me at work today, would you have your child get flu mist? And I think I would. I think, you know, my son got the regular flu shot, but I think if your child is scared or not a good shot taker, the flu is definitely going to be better than nothing. So again, one more option. We got to get the message out there to get people vaccinated against the flu. And I have to ask you, do you think that we're showing any signs that this flu season is coming to an end? Because it's been brutal. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It has been brutal. And the good news is, yes, typically the peak is February and the data that we're seeing from the CDC does show things leveling off. But again, the flu is a deadly virus and in any year it kills tens of thousands of people due to complications like pneumonia. And in a bad year, you're going to see 50,000 plus people succumb to the flu. So again, the vaccine is your best chance at avoiding a very severe case of the flu. All right. Good news. We're on the decline there. You the got season. it. All right, Dr. Reddy, <laughs> thank you so much. We'll be thank right you. back after this break.